I'm recording. Okay, so we are going to learn about rotations today. We're going to take notes on rotations. This is the second transformation. So the first transformation was calculations. Now we're going to talk about rotations today and tomorrow and also on Monday. Okay, so what does rotation mean in math? A rotation is just like a spin or a turn. Without changing shape or size. So we're going to be rotating a figure today. Okay, we're going to be making clockwise rotations. So clockwise, it's just as a clock turns. Okay. We're also going to be making a counterclockwise rotations, and that's a clock spinning, going, rotating, or spinning backwards. Okay? So it's the opposite of a clock. And you see a clock like that's on my wall right there, of course, right? The hands are going backwards. Okay? Just checking, where's the origin? Where's the coordinates? Zero, zero. Uh, zero, zero. Okay, that's where um, we're gonna make rotations about the origin. Okay, just like we did um, the center, uh, when we got the dilations, the center of dilation was the origin. Okay, what is the X coordinate and the Y coordinate? Okay, usually we, we write our order here this way. X value is first, your Y value is second. Okay. All right, so let's practice rotating with patty paper. And you're gonna need your colors out and ready. Okay, so with your patty paper, I want you to place, um, so this is my patty paper right here, okay? You're going to place your patty paper on top of your coordinate plane on your notes. It's on the back corner. Okay. I want you to trace the X and the Y axis. Okay. Once you trace the X, the X and the Y axis, I also want you to trace the L. This figure, we're going to rotate the figure L. And I also want you to put a point on the corner, and we're going to follow that point all the way, all along, okay? Okay, all right, so pick a color that you're going to use, and mine is purple, and these rotations will be in purple for me. If you chose blue, just write blue. All right, so our first rotation that we're going to make is a 90 degree counterclockwise rotation. So 90 degrees, okay, right there, that's 90, right? And then it says counterclockwise rotation. Counterclockwise means what? Opposite of a clock. So we're going to go this way, right? So 90 degrees is just the next quadrant over, okay? Grab notes and patty paper. Okay, what point are we at right now? The red point is what ordered pair? Um, it's what? It's three, one. One. Okay. That's where we're at. Are we good? All right. So when you rotate using your patty paper, okay, whatever color you're using, you're going to place it on the origin to hold your paper down. Are we good? So go ahead and do that. Place it on the origin to hold your paper down. Okay, and then 
go ahead and rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. And then when you do that, it should look like this. Okay, and I want you to now trace on your actual notes your new L, okay? So kind of like lift your paper up a little bit and you're going to trace it. And then mark where our new point is. Just outline it in your color. Are we good so far? And what is our new point? Negative one, three. Okay. So that point got rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise. Are we good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and reset. Let's go back to our original. Place your patty paper over your coordinate plane. And now we have a 180 degree counter clockwise rotation. So 180 degrees and it's counterclockwise. We're going to go backwards like a clock. So that's 90. This quadrant will be 180 degrees. So put your writing utensil on the origin and go ahead and rotate your figure 180. And then again, take the same color that we're using and outline your L on your actual notes and then plot where our point is now. Okay, it should look like that. Our L was rotated 180 degrees counterclockwise. Where is our point now? What's the ordered pair? Good. Negative three, negative one. All right, let's go ahead and reset. Let's put our patty paper back in quadrant one. And we have another rotation. 270 degrees counterclockwise, so counterclockwise is the clock going backwards, 270, so put your utensil at the origin, and rotate it counterclockwise, 90, 180, and 270. There we go. And go ahead and outline on your actual paper, so you may just want to kind of lift it up and trace it where it's at, and then plot our new point. Where is our point now? Uh -huh. One. One. You got it. One. Negative three. We're good so far. Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and reset. Let's put it back on the original. And now we're going to make a. 360 counterclockwise rotation. Any idea where that's going to go? Back to the beginning. Let's just go back to the original. Okay. So on the original, I'm just going to go ahead and outline it in that color. Are we good? Okay. And we already wrote. So if we do a 360 counterclockwise rotation, we're back at the beginning where we started. Right? It is the original. Okay? So let's look at our next column. Go ahead and reset your patty paper. Okay? These rotations will be in the color, and I'm going to choose green. You can choose another color, whatever color you're using. All right? And we're first going to make a 90 degree clockwise rotation. Clockwise means what? 
as it could, as a clock rotates. Okay? So go ahead and put your writing utensil on the origin on your patty paper. And let's go ahead and rotate it just 90 degrees clockwise, and here we are. Okay? Since we outline this, I want you to color it in, okay, in that color. Looks like we're already there, right? I'm just going to shade it in like so, or get a highlighter, get highlighted. Okay, what do we notice? A 90 degree clockwise rotation. Was it the same as another one? Which one? The three. The 270. It was. So we're going to go ahead and draw an arrow. And that's going to mean that they are the exact same rotations. Okay? Let's go ahead and reset. And let's make our next rotation. Okay? Our next rotation is... 180 degree clockwise rotation. So we're going to turn as a clock 90 degrees, 180 degrees. What do you notice? It's the same as what? Exactly. So 180 degree clockwise rotation is the same as. 180 counterclockwise. So if we do 180 degrees, does it matter if it's counterclockwise or clockwise? No. no. Absolutely not. So don't let that bother you. Okay? Let's go ahead and reset. Are you seeing a pattern here? Yes. Good. Reset. Okay? Put your patty paper over your coordinate plane. Put your pencil on the origin. Let's go ahead and rotate. 170 degrees clockwise, 90 degrees clockwise, 180 degrees clockwise, 270 degrees clockwise. Go ahead and shade it in. So what do we notice about this one? A 270 degree clockwise rotation is the same as? The 90 degree counterclockwise. Good, you got it. 90 degree counterclockwise. They are the same. Let's go ahead and reset. We got one more. What's our last one? 360. 360 degrees clockwise. Where do you think that's going to bring us? Oh, the original. It's the original again. So these are the same. same. So if it says 360 degrees, it doesn't matter if it says counterclockwise or clockwise. Okay? Very good? Yes. All right, so I'm going to move my patty paper here. So at the bottom right here, it says, hmm, do you notice anything? What do you notice? Good. We have that some rotations matched up. Okay. What about the sides are rotations? Do you notice anything about our ordered pairs as we went? What do we notice? Uh -huh. They always have one and three. They always have what? One and three. They always have the numbers one and three. Is that true? Yes. Yes. Anything else you notice? Anything? As we rotated, what's happening? Uh huh. The shape always like change directions. Good. Good. But we did notice that it did not change size or shape. Good. What else do you notice? Anything else? Anything else we want to add? All right, so just as dilation time algebraic rule, our rotations are going to have algebraic rules. Okay? So turn your paper over. So our rule or our description for a rotation, the figure is turned. about a fixed point. What was our fixed point? Would you put your pencil on as we rotate it? The origin. The origin. We always rotate about the origin. So our fixed point will always be the origin. All 
press. Notice for a rotation, there are three rules. Notice we always start with our original. These are our original, okay? So let's look at a 90 degrees clockwise rotation, okay? And let's see if you could come up with a rule. Let's see what happens with our X and Y values, okay? So go ahead and turn your paper over. All right, so our 90 degrees clockwise rotation, mine was in green, okay? So if I started here, okay, this was our original point, 90 degrees clockwise is about like a clock, right? It turns as a clock. So now we are in 90 degrees in this quadrant, right? So we're looking, what happened to our point? What do you notice about your X value? Where is it now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What do you notice about one? Where is it now? North. Yeah. So now our x value is in the y value place, but what else? It's now the negative opposite. Good. Our y value is now our x value. X value. So you just said the rule. Our x value is now our y value, and y'all said it was Negative. opposite, okay? And you also said that our y value moved to our x value. Are we good? Okay, so we saw our points go next door, right? They went to the next door quadrant, right? And your values always, they what? Went next door as well. Can you see that? All right. Let's look at our next rule. We had a 90 degree counter clockwise rotation. So let's look at those points. Let's turn your paper over. Okay, so we started here at 90 degrees. Counterclockwise is opposite of a clock. So now we're in this quadrant. Okay, so let's look at our X value. What happened to it? It switched, right? Because it's next door quadrant. So our X value went next door. It's now our Y value, right? What do you notice about our original Y value one? It switched places, it went next door. But it's also now- The opposite. Opposite, you got it. So our X value is now in the Y value place, and our Y value went next door to our X value, but then what happened? It's it was opposite. opposite. Okay. We're good so far? Yeah. Let's look at one of these. Okay, so we started here at 180, and it doesn't matter which way we go. No. Okay, it's going to be in the opposite quadrant. Just said a key word there. What do you notice about your X value? They, just, they both opposite. go opposite. It stayed in the same place, but it is opposite. What about your Y value? Same thing. Same spot, but opposite. Opposite. I also want you to notice this. What if I was in this quadrant and I went 180 degrees? 180 degrees is opposite, right? Yeah. So what do you notice about your X value? Opposite. It's it stayed the same, but an opposite sign. Look at your Y value. Same place, but opposite. Side. Opposite. Okay. So this is how we're going to write that. Our X and Y value stayed in the same place, and but they are now the opposite sign. Okay. We're good. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's practice. So let's do example number one. Okay. And I want you to put your patty paper away. Okay, for these examples, I want to try not using the patty paper. Okay? Okay, so now 
we're going to put the patty paper to the side, and I'm going to show you you don't need patty paper. Okay? So, in our example number one, we're going to rotate the triangle 90 degrees clockwise. Okay? We're going to come up with our rule last. Okay? We'll do our rule last. So just reminding me that. Okay? So, I'm here. This is triangle ABC. 90 degrees clockwise is in what direction? As a clock. So if I'm here, where am I going to end up? The quadrant below it. Good. I'm going to go next door in this quadrant. All of my points here are positive, positive, right? Do you agree? Yes. Okay. And actually all my points happen to be in the same quadrant, so that's nice to start off with, okay? So now triangle ABC is going to be in quadrant four. What are our points there? Positives, negatives, Positive. or what? Positive, then negative. negative. Are we good? So first thing you do is label your quadrants. So quadrant one is positive, positive. 90 degrees counterclockwise, we're going to be in this quadrant, and it's positive, negative. Okay? Are we good so far? Okay? They already wrote down what our original points are, so that's nice. Okay? So I know all of these points are going to be positive, negative already. So positive, negative, watch. Positive, negative. Positive, negative. Are we good? What happens when we do a 90 degree clockwise rotation and we're just going next door? What happens? Your X and Y also go next door. So this is going to be what number for A? Good. This will be? You got it. Are you good? We probably should have labeled A prime. B prime, C prime. Okay? B is 3, 1. What is our new, what's our image? What's B prime now? Right next door, 90 degrees. So your points are also going to go um, next door, right? They're yes. going to switch. So what's B prime? 1, one, one negative three. 3. Not bad, right? Okay? What about C? C prime is now? 2, negative 1. 2, negative 1. You got it. Are we good? Yes. Okay. Now, without looking at this, don't look at it, I'm going to show you how to come up with your rule because you're not going to have, rules will not be given to you. Okay? You'll probably have multiple choice answers. Okay? And you'll have to choose the correct rule. So, let's look at our points. Okay? We know when we go next door, like you just said, our X and Y also do what? They went next door. Okay, so this is now Y. This is now X. Are we good? Are we done yet? No. No. So just take one of the points. So let's look at your X value. It went next door. Did it change? Yeah. Yes. So we need to do what? Include a negative X. That means it's opposite now. Now look at your Y value. Did anything happen there? No. No. So our y value stayed the same. Okay? That's it. And now if you want to check 90 degrees clockwise, matches here. Are we good? Yes. Okay. With your table, I want you to try example number two. Okay? And then we'll check. All right. I want to extend the page so we don't see our rules. And I saw some people folded their page, so that was a good idea. Okay, it says, rotate the figure 90 degrees counterclockwise. So I see my figure, rectangle math here, is negative, negative. And I see all my original points are also negative, negative. Okay? Counterclockwise is opposite of a clock, so I'm going to go backwards, and now I'm in the positive negative. 
Okay, so now I know all my image points that should be a T, are going to have positive negative. So positive negative, positive negative, positive negative, positive negative. Okay, I know that when my figure goes just next door, I know that my X and Y values are also going to go next door. That much space to die. So three, five, three, two, five, two. That's the same number. Five, five. Are we good? Yeah. How to do with your points? Good. Okay. We went the correct quadrant as well. Yes. Counterclockwise. Awesome. All right. Now we were to write the rule, and I know that we always start off with our original x and y points. Did y'all make sure y'all included that part? Mm -hmm. Good. Awesome. And then I'm going to compare my X. So I see my original X. I see that it switched places. And then this, it's the same sign. Okay? And then I'm going to compare Y. It's negative 3. And I see now it's in the X position. And it's the opposite sign. So did y'all get negative y x? Yeah? Are y'all good? Questions? No. All right. Go ahead and rotate to example number three, and then we'll check. Any good? So give about two, three minutes. Okay, so we're going to rotate the triangle 180 degrees. It doesn't specify counterclockwise or clockwise, so we learned that. Good. Okay, so our original points are in quadrant one, and they are positive, positive, and we can see that all of our points are positive, positive. And then 180 degrees uh, is just the opposite quadrant. So this is quadrant three, so that is negative, negative. So A prime, negative, negative, B prime, negative, negative, and C prime is also going to be negative, negative. Are we good? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, we also know our shape is not going next door. So our points are not going to go next door either. They are going to stay where they're at. How did you do? Right. 180 just means opposite. If I'm facing forward and I make a 180 degree turn, I'm in the opposite direction, right? Are we good with that? Okay. So our rule, we start off with our original, right? And then our x and y values stay put. Except what? They made a 180 degree turn, literally. So they are in the opposite. We're good? Yes. That's not that, right? I love one change. <laughs> okay. That's all we got for today. We're going to pause. No homework, family night. The bottom part. Make sure you hang on to that. That's going to be your warm up when we walk in tomorrow. <laughs>